Hey Scorpios, welcome to the second half of November love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Happy birthdays to my late November Scorpios. Uh, so Scorps, let's just dive right in here. For those of you who've been with me for a long time, you already know how this goes. For those who are new to my channel, new to tarot, please look below for the video for how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer if you have any questions or curiosities on how this goes and how you should really be, um, well, interpreting how to view this reading, <laughs> okay? Um, it's just a really long intro that I used to do. And I go through periods of doing it and not doing it. I'm just trying to save my energy, okay? So let's talk about this meditative session that I did. So Scorp, just as I was getting into like the things that I had received, they're giving me more things. Hold on. So Scorpio, the first thing I saw was actually a black snake. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, well, you know what? Actually, it doesn't feel negative. It didn't feel negative at all. I think it really is just representing Scorpio that you have been through a lot to get to where you are. And your journey is definitely not over. Our journeys are never really over till, you know, they're over to the next, you know, life or, you know, whatever you believe. But anyway, Scorpios, um, I do feel like you've been trying really hard to get to a place of stability, whether that's just emotional or financial. A lot of you feel like it's financial. Um, and you've had kind of a tough road. You've had a tough road. Some people have gotten in your way. Some people have... Uh, set you back I just heard regress some people have set you back you've had a lot of tower moments um but you know you're over the you're over the big hump of it you're over the big hump of it I feel like that's what that's what that snake was really representing like almost like patience having patience with all of the different transformations you've had to go through all the tower moments you've had to go through all the big little growth periods you've had to go through to get to where it is you're trying to go a lot of you are not there yet I just feel like the worst of, not the worst of it, but you know what I mean? The toughest part of it is over, okay? You're you're past that part. Um, and I do feel Scorpios for this last half of November, it's gonna be a lot more mellow. I feel like this first half of November was a lot more emotional and a lot more like, how do I say this? A lot more stressful, just stressful. Okay, just stressful, just stressful. And of course, dealing with Lazarus is always fun, right? <laughs> right, Scorps? But this last half, I feel like, you're going to be able to breathe. I feel like it's just going to be a lot more relaxing. Um, I feel like it's going to just be a lot better flow. of en That's what it is. It's going to be better flow of energy. However, I do feel that you still will be confronted by a lot of different opportunities, whether that's just like opportunities to go out with friends or maybe some new opportunities in at work or what have you. Opportunities to grow is actually what they were giving me. Opportunities to grow. Now, Scorps, that's so weird. I just... <laughs> I just heard Gemini. So weird. Um, Scorpios, I do feel that you're going to be in a little bit of a four pentacles energy, kind of like, eh, I'm good. <laughs> like, eh, I'm okay. I don't need to go down that road. I feel like a lot of you are going to be in that mode for the last half of November, especially for those who will be around family. For those in the States who will be celebrating Thanksgiving, I feel a lot of you will be in that four pentacles state of not really wanting to give anything to anybody. And I don't think that's a bad thing to practice. I just think you need to practice some discernment with that because I do feel in these opportunities, there might be some gems in there. You might be meeting new people. Oh, some of you it is because of family. Interesting. Some of you will be needing, meeting new people because of family. Um, they want me to say that again, but I just said it. They, <laughs> they always say it again. You're going to be meeting new people because of family. I guess you don't want to hear it. Screw me. <laughs> oh, that was a hard yes. You don't want me. You don't want me. You don't want to hear me say that to you sorry it's just the truth for some of you okay and for some of you these new people even though you're gonna feel very like i don't really want to be meeting new people right now friends or whatever there for some of you like i said it's going to be like little gems and you don't want to miss this and i feel like it's gonna be really easy for you to miss this because you're gonna be in such a four pentacles like i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm i'm good okay so just practice some discernment with that you don't want to miss anything that's for your benefit okay um now, these other opportunities to heal. Sorry, I know I got a lot of information for you, Scorpios. These other opportunities are coming in to heal. Again, you're going to be very four pentacles about it. You're not going to want to go down that road because you've already had a tough road. Okay? And these opportunities to heal, mm, they're going to bring up some shit that you got to heal. Right? <laughs> so you're not going to really want to approach it. But Scorpios, you're going to, I think you're going to really, no, you're not going to regret it. Scorpios don't really live with regret. Um you're just gonna miss out on some more growth that will only benefit you. So that conversation that you never had with that ex or that conversation you never had with that family member or all the answers you never really got confirmed from that situation or what have you, all the little bits of closure, you just might wanna consider addressing it. Okay, I'm just saying. Might wanna consider addressing it. 
And also, they keep giving me food channel wings for people. I know you guys like to snack while you, while you watch. I was going to say, while you eat with me. That's so funny. While you watch me. <laughs> while you watch me. But I was getting interesting things. I saw pears. I saw I saw a pie just as I had, as I had started. That's why I was like, ah. It totally threw me for a loop. I don't know why they're showing me food. I just think it's like the funniest thing. Um, I do feel for pears, though. That's interesting. Um, transition? Wait, what is this? Oh, this is interesting. Some of you are trying to eat healthier and you're really struggling with like the baby steps of like how to get started. Pears will be key for some of you. That's very interesting. Anyway, so go ahead and, you know, think about that. But Scorpios, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. Now I have a new deck. Um, it might be a little late, but I couldn't help it. I saw it and I was like, how could I not? It's called The Haunted House. I know it's past Halloween, but screw it. We're still in Scorpio season. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. I haven't worked with these cards yet. I used to be very like anal about getting my cards prepped and getting used to them and working with them before using them for my channel, but I felt like I should just crack these out now, okay? So let's go ahead. <clears throat> Closing forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Yeah, there's gonna be some surprise. Sorry, they're they're giving me more stuff. There's gonna be some surprises for you, Scorpio, for the end for the rest of the year, most definitely, especially in December. But they're really gonna start trickling in in this last half of November. I think the closer we get to Mercury going direct, you're gonna see more and more of that. This full moon in Taurus is also gonna bring in some stuff for you, Scorpio. Um, you already see your people really well, but it will be easier for you to practice discernment, which is also why, yeah, Scorpios. Don't be afraid to hold back. Like, I mean, sorry. Don't be afraid to not hold back from everyone. I feel like a lot of you are going to fall in that trap of holding back from everybody. But your discernment's going to be way more on point than it normally is. Okay? And I don't think you realize that. You're not going to fall into the same traps. Scorpio, some of you guys are talking to me. You're not going to fall into the same traps. You won't. You won't. Okay? But there are some gems in there that... You, I know you won't want to miss, okay? All right. Please import any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Scorpio, don't get stubborn on me. I just felt that. Don't get stubborn on me. Please for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. A lot of these opportunities, like I said, I do feel are towards your stability, not necessarily romantic relationships, okay? I do feel that coming in for you, Scorpios, but not, not really soon. I don't feel it really soon. Please forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What is this? I'm um, getting a weight to bear. What is this? Um, ooh, hair. Sorry, just did my hair this morning. <sighs> Scor oh, God, not my, my heart chakra just got heavy when I got that. Um, ooh, a weight to bear. My Scorpio's... My Scorpios who are light workers or even just empaths, people I call 1099s, <laughs> those who don't work in the spiritual community, but you basically have abilities and you do do your own little spiritual work. You just don't do it within the community, like, you know, like to this caliber, right? Um, what? This is so weird. It's almost like Scorpios, they're showing me something really interesting. Scorpios as a collective will be feeling quite a weight but I feel like it's it's almost for the collective. This is interesting. I've never, I can't even really describe what they're showing me. I don't have the words right now. They're showing me just like a weight on the chest, but it's like, it's for the network. It's for the collective here. And it, because you're change agents, because you are change agents, you understand karma. You understand uh, transforming karma, transforming energy, transmut transmutating energy as well. Scorpios are born to do this. Some of you guys are going to be feeling this, okay? So if you're feeling that, don't be alarmed. You're going to handle it just fine. That's interesting. But it's it, they're they're very, they're telling me it's for the collective, for the collective. So it's almost like a responsibility. This is so fascinating. Okay, so 
I'm just the messenger. But that's what they're telling me. Um, that Scorpio, like Scorpio energy and Scorpios, who, like people who have very strong Scorpio placements or who are the epitome of Scorpionic energy or who sit in Scorpionic energy will be bearing kind of like a weight, like holding space. Thank you. Holding space. <laughs> holding space for the collective. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, but that's what they're telling me. Anyway, let's keep it going, Scorpios. Please forward any messages of truth and love for those who need it for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, the last half of November. I'm very excited to work with this deck. I can't even tell you. Oh, that's too many. That's too many. Sorry. Too many. Please forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Ooh. Now, this is a new deck, so sometimes I gotta, like, interpret. Six of Wands. Okay. <laughs> Six of Wands in reverse, Jupiter and Leo energy, just so you guys can like take a really good look at that. That's what the illustration looks like. But Six of Wands in reverse. Why do I, yeah, I feel like you're telling people to back the fuck up. I really, <laughs> I really feel like you're telling people to like back up off of you. And there was some of that energy in the last reading too for the first half of November. I feel like this is the energy you're coming out of. But like I said, Scorpios, you will be approached and you're going to be practicing a lot of discernment. Some of you will be falling into that trap of not giving anything to anyone. But like I said, try not to do that because your discernment's going to be way more improved than it has been in recent past, okay? For the reason of being able to handle all of these approaches because there's some gems in there there really are they want me to really emphasize that there's some gems in there you don't want to miss out on okay closing forward any messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for scorpio sun moon rising venus and jupiter last half of november ah <laughs> high priestess in reverse piscean energy also gemini for me as a reader and what did i just say discernment's going to be way more on point your intuition is going to be way more on point you're going to be able to see all the bullshit you're going to be able to see through people more so than normal okay and like i said full moon in taurus is tomorrow which is aspecting your natural seventh house your actual houses are different but i mean your natural seventh just based off of your scorpionic energy um, but I'll be talking about that tonight at 6 p.m. Oh, Matt. Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. Oh, Scorpios. Oh, my. Why do I feel like these are really bad secrets coming out? Someone's going to get caught. Someone's going to get caught doing something. Oh, wow. Nine of swords and sign of swords on the bottom. I feel like someone's actually going to get caught doing something. Ooh, someone's not going to get away with something. Someone's not going to get away with something. Oh, I've got the chills all down my back. Scorpios, I don't know if you're catching someone or you're getting caught. I like, someone's not going to get away with something. Wow, and then we have the Ten of Cups. <laughs> oh, Piscean energy. Wow, so... Someone's going to get caught doing something, and as a result, Ten of Cups will be had. It's almost like, um, like if you have a happy situation and someone's trying to, like, mess with that shit, that's coming to light. The Ten of Cups will not be messed up. The Ten of Cups will not be withdrawn. The Ten of Cups will not disappear. Wow. Okay. Scorpio, <laughs> remember what I was saying? For 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 you, some ugh. for those of you who will be falling who might be falling into that trap of just not giving to anybody, this ten of cups is very much there among some a couple. So Mercury retrograde mess, which is still messed up. The ten of cups is amongst those gems, and it will be easy to miss, and it might be because someone might be trying to meddle with that. Okay, because someone might might be able to see that that's coming your way, or that's right there in front of you. And they might try to, they might try to meddle with it so that you don't see it. You'll see it. You will see it. But you have to be practicing discernment and not be afraid to open. Okay, open. Jesus. Open up. Okay. Please for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Night. Okay. Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Yeah, it's almost like Scorpio. 
This Ten of Cups is going to be staring you right in the face. Keep in mind, this can be vice versa. It could be someone you're connecting with will be experiencing this. Excuse me. Um, but it's like, it's it's right there. But for whatever reason, it's not being seen or it's not being talked about readily. I, I really feel like someone's trying to stir drama. I really feel like someone's trying to stir up drama in this, almost like in a way to sabotage it. Yeah, like almost in a way to sabotage it. All right. So I just realized we're 15 minutes in. Might as well get to the reading. Okay. <laughs> My bad. I just got so caught up in the messages. Okay, Scorpios, let's get into this. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Scorpios regarding love for the last half of November? I like these cards. I really do. They're nice. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love for the last half of November? Okay. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love for the last half of November? Wow. Empress in reverse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. Ooh. Ooh. Why is, why is this making me nauseous? Um, it's making me really nauseous. I feel, I feel like someone's just not very aligned right now. Scorpio, this could be, this could very well be you. Someone's just not very aligned. Um, it almost feels like someone's like just out of whack on a physical level, emotional level. Things are just a, like awry within this person's field, physically and energetically. They're they're having trouble um, expanding. They're having trouble with their abundance. They're having trouble progressing and growing. It's almost like this person's hit like a big halt within their growth, whether it's just financial or um, their own spiritual growth. It feels like a halt of growth. They're trying, this person's trying to focus on themselves, but they're having a really hard time. Interesting. They're having a hard time with that. Let's see. Now we've got, it's got to be a wand. That's a wand. <laughs> Three of wands, Aries energy. And then we have the Hierophant here, Taurian energy. So we have Aries, Taurus, um, two Tor. Yeah, actually we have a lot of Taurus here and Libra and Aries here. Okay. This is a very interesting Hierophant card. Oh my God. Look at that. That's a little intense. That's a little intense here. It's almost like someone's anticipating commitment. Wanting commitment. Someone's wanting commitment. Oh, God, that's why I was getting nauseous. Okay. Someone's wanting commitment or someone's in a relationship or a situationship where it's like there's no more growth. And it's like, well, I thought we were heading towards commitment. Why is that not happening? Someone's wanting more. Someone's wanting more. To the point where they're basically expecting it, but they don't see how it's possible right now. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? Keep in mind, it is Hierophant, so that could just be within the workplace, okay? Whoever this Empress is, they're wanting more in terms of their stability, their growth. Um, if, it's, if it's within a relationship, then commitment. They're just wanting more, but they don't see how they can have that right now. And now we've got, wow, King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. I see two people holding back. They've got an empress here who feels like growth has been stunted. Again, just in terms of stability, whatever stability is for this empress. If it's within a relationship, um, this empress has been expecting commitment or leveling up and it's not happening. There's also a sense of distance here. There could be long distance involved. Doesn't have to be. Um, but now we've got a king of pentacles who's also not really giving their energy right now. These two people, they are it's so funny. They're both trying to focus on themselves, but they're having a hard time. They both feel like they're kind of out of whack. Like they both have been kind of thrown for a loop in their individual lives. This person's more focused on money though. This person's way more focused on money right now. They both feel really out of alignment. There's a little bit of mirroring going on. There's a little bit of mirroring going on. Both feel really, really out of alignment here. At the end of the day, growth is wanted, abundance is wanted, and it just seems like that wanting of more is out of reach. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, someone's haunted? What the hell? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. So, okay, that that's literally what I just heard. Someone's haunted. What if, like, it's this king? It's almost like someone's... Someone's haunted with like, with their desires, with their desires. I feel like that's more three-dimensional desires. 
Hmm. Let's keep that going. Any other messages for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio regarding love for the last half of November? Let's see what we got here. Lovers in reverse again. Gemini energy. This king's haunted. This king is haunted with their desires either for, oh, a better, a better, I'm hearing a better, a better relationship, a better situation, just better. They're haunted with what, with better. <laughs> Almost sounds like better. Um, whatever this current situation this king is finding themselves in, they want more for themselves. They want better. They want better, but they're really out of alignment. They're really, oh, I just got dizzy. They're really out of alignment. Any messages for Scorpio? Keep in mind, Scorpio can be any one of these people. Could also be done with a Gentorian Cusper. All right, that's it. Overall energy. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, okay. <laughs> I was like, I know this one. Uh, hangman in reverse. <laughs> it's just funny because it's like, hermit? No. <laughs> Death? No. <laughs> hangman in reverse. <laughs> Piscean energy. Sorry, guys. I just thought that was funny. Um, oh, wow. And then we have King of Wands in reverse underneath that. Leo energy could also be air or fire here. Ooh, someone's kind of, okay. This is all about getting to that place of growth, getting to that place of abundance, um, getting over that hump, getting over that wall that's made both of these two very out of alignment. Both of these two have been thrown out of alignment and I feel like it's because of the same thing. And since then, they've been in hangman mode. But now they're coming out of that. Coming out of that. And when you come out of hangman mode, um, the hangman also talks about sacrifice. The hangman talks about sacrifice. If these two want to get to that Hierophant energy, want to level up or grow more or whatever the, whatever the case may be, they have to sacrifice something. Something has to be sacrificed. Something has to be let go of so that room can be made for it. And I do feel like it's something three-dimensional, something like more materialistic. Yeah. And with this King of Pentacles, like I said, they're very much out of alignment. I feel like there's a big decision on part of this King as well. A very big decision that has to be made. But I do feel like there's something, something or someone staying in the way of this king making this decision. Whether they just want more within their own relationship. I feel like it's all about stability. But I do feel like the lovers are representing um, a decision first and foremost. But they're not in a position to be making the right decision right now. Because they're really out of alignment. But I feel like someone's also standing in the way of this king. Someone or something. Okay. You cool? Alright, let's keep it going. So let's look at this empress. Let's break down this empress in reverse. And then we're going to look at this hair font. Actually, no, the three of wands. We'll get the three of wands. So I have the Empress in reverse. Just her Libra for Scorpio. Regarding love for the last half of November. So I have the Empress in reverse. So I have the Empress in reverse. So I have the Empress in reverse. Scorpio, for those of you who are super single... Yeah, for those of you who are super single, I actually feel like this is all about just you. Where you want more for yourself, you want growth, you want more stability, um, you want more expansion for yourself, but you've been in hangman mode, whether you realize it or not. And now coming out of it, you're realizing if I want that for myself, I actually have to sacrifice some shit. Okay? And it's, the decision's on you to do that. So you have to become aligned. You gotta, you gotta just ground yourself, get yourself all situated again, okay? So I have Empress in Reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love, by the end for the end of November, excuse me, for the end of November, this all might be happening by the end of November. Okay. Play my Empress in reverse. Ew. Yeah. See the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. Yeah. I just. I really keep getting this is because of a lack of alignment. I really keep getting that. It just. I'm almost seeing like, like a person who's just kind of like disheveled all over the place. Like if you were to like you know, have a puzzle as a person. Oh, well, I don't know how that makes sense. But like, okay, let's say you have a puzzle. It's just of a human being. And it's like that piece is over there. This piece is over there. That piece is over there. It's like it all just needs to come back together and get realigned. The three pentacles in a verse, this is not really focusing or working with other people. I'm also here not focused. Ew. 
Six of Wands in reverse, Leo energy with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Oh, Lord. Scorpios, keep in mind this can be someone you're just connected to. It doesn't have to be you. But wow. Oh, yeah, it's like, I don't want to be around people. Just get away from people. I don't want to deal with people. Feeling really, um, uns like, not, I don't like the word unstable, but yeah, like not having stability. <laughs> not having stability. You might be, ex Scorpios, you might be experiencing, um, I just feel like it's like a day here, a day there, or like maybe a few days at a time where maybe your confidence is really shot for no, for no apparent reason. For no apparent reason, okay? I feel like that's just, I really feel like that's just your higher self trying to get you to work on stuff and to get realigned. So just realize that, just check in with yourself. Talking about the Empress in Reverse. Talking about the Empress in Reverse. Talking about the Empress in Reverse for Scorpio regarding love for the end of November. Keep in mind, guys, we read energy, not gender. So the king could be a female. Empress can be male. So just know that. Oh, jeez. The world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Saturn, excuse me, which rules Capricorn. <laughs> Sounds like sorry, the reading my throat's like so dry. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay. Seven of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Got the king of pentacles again. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. We have the Five of Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy, and then we have the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. This is being busy and overwhelmed, okay? Busy and overwhelmed. This is wanting a whole new cycle. I feel like this Empress really wants a new cycle, or again, just expansion with this King of Pentacles. Scorpio, like I said, for a lot of you who are just super single, this is just about you and your own expansion and really waking up to what you have to do to get there, okay? But yeah, waking up, yeah. With the world and Seven of Cups in reverse becoming very clear as to what needs to happen moving forward to get to that new place, to get to that new place of stability or the next level up, whatever that next level up is for you or for you and another person, okay? It's also choosing an option. Like I said, you will be bombarded, Scorpios, and you won't be loving that. But for some of you, there's a gem there. There's a gem there. But when it comes to this king, for those of you where it's another person and not just yourself, because this is definitely, Scorpios, for you to... For, you, for those of you who are just, this is just about you, it's basically coming to terms with some stuff that you haven't been wanting to come terms to with yourself, okay? Um, but to come out of a slump, to come out of a rut here, for some of you, it's with this King of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles, though, it's finding a balance out of the chaos. I feel like these are for Scorpios who are really busy, okay? <laughs> who got a lot of shit going on. And look, overall energy, lovers in reverse again. Gemini energy, like I said, I do feel like it's about a decision, First and foremost, but I do think there is a major connection here for those who have a King of Pentacles um, that they're resonating with in this reading, okay? But like I said, for a lot of you singles out there, this is about you leveling up and realizing what's been in your way so far when it comes to your own decisions, okay? And what you got going on in your life. But yeah, major need to align. Major, major need to realign here. Okay, so let's look at the Three of Wands. Curious what's going on with that. Talking about the Three of Wands. Talking about the Three of Wands for Scorpio. Talking about the Three of Wands for Scorpio. Talking about the Three of Wands for Scorpio. Some of you I'm getting travel here. I've been getting that a lot more lately, and I feel like I'm probably going to get that until the end of the year, just given holiday stuff, right? But I am getting, like, chariot energy. Could just be all the cancer, but I'm getting a lot of chariot energy. Um, you could be moving, Scorpio, or, oh, Scorpios, for those where you're, you're realizing there's some changes you need to make to get to that next level, a lot of you realizing you have to move to do that, okay? Um, a lot of you realizing it's either about where you live or it's just the environment you're in. Like, I guess, well, okay. There's a difference. I mean, like, actual geographic location has been affecting you, or by the environment, I mean the people around it, okay? <laughs> the people in it, not just exactly where you live, okay? But there, there needs, to, I really feel like there's, for a lot of you, there needs to be a geographical change. That might be the key to, key to that. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Uh. Uh. 
Ha. Ah. Okay. What about the three of wands for Scorpio regarding love for the last half of November? Those of you who are dealing with a king, I feel like they, they, like I said, they have a really big decision on their end. And the empress is very aware of that. Very aware of that. I also like this empress has been very tired of waiting for a decision to be made. Uh, we have the world in reverse. So fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Jules, Capricorn. Oh, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. So for those of you who are dealing with the king of pentacles, as opposed to you just dealing with yourself, um, waiting for expansion between the two of you or some kind of leveling up and commitment between the two of you. Again, there could be a sense of distance, but the world in reverse with the three of wands, there's a sense of waiting that needs to end, okay? <laughs> like I said, this empress is tired of waiting for that decision from this king of pentacles. That needs to end and a whole new cycle needs to start here. It's time. It's been too long. Things are shifting. Things are moving. And Scorpio, life, you know, life wait, waits for no one, right? Life waits for no one. Tell me the three of wands. Wow. Wow. Ace of pentacles and the fool in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because there's a Uranus card. We have three of swords on the bottom. Yeah, Scorpios, it seems like this Ace of Pentacles, like I said, it's that stability that I've been talking about this whole time, that leveling up or expansion or growth between you and you or between you and a King of Pentacles. And this sense of waiting and stagnancy, this hangman energy needs to end. If you've been waiting for someone to make a decision, it needs to end, okay? Because clearly someone just hasn't been wanting to take that leap of faith. And like I said, if you're dealing with the King of Pentacles, I feel like the decision's been on their end and they haven't been wanting to take that leap of faith. It's time to stop waiting. Don't ever wait for anybody, Scorpio. I've had this talk a lot on my channel. I know I got a lot of newbies who haven't heard me talk about it in a while. Like I just said, life keeps going, life keeps moving. No reason to wait on anybody for anything, okay? Okay. And I keep getting the energy of sacrifice. Yeah, Scorpios, again, between you and yourself, are you and this person? Some kind of sacrifice has to be made, whether you have to sacrifice them and keep it moving or they have to sacrifice something to make a big decision to grow more with you or it's between you and you, you got to make space in your life for more growth and expansion and abundance because there's no room right now. So I'm at the three of wands and that's how energy works. Sorry, little spiel. That's how energy works. <clears throat> There's energy, there's energetic space all around us within our life, even our, our own physical environment. If you want to make space for new things, you have to get rid of other things, right? It's just how it works. It's just energetic space. Time of the three of wands for Scorpio. Time of the three of wands for Scorpio. Scorpios, you're drying out my throat. What's going on? I've been drinking a lot of water today. Time of the three of wands for Scorpio. That's it. Over energy. Oh, look at that. The freaking Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Yeah. Scorpios, you want more growth. You want expansion. You want more stability. You're looking for that 10. And the Ace is the opportunity to get to that 10. Whether it's just between you and you, or you and this King of Pentacles, a sacrifice has to be made. And it's either going to be made or it's not. And if you're dealing with this other person, you're either going to wait for them or not. And like I said, you don't wait for people. You don't wait for people. Um, you wait actively. If you're going to wait, meaning you don't pass up any other opportunities that come your way. And if this person wants to take their time and sit on their butt and just hope that things will eventually fall into place randomly, which shit doesn't happen that way, um, then why waste your time, right? You don't, you just don't do that. <clears throat> so if you get an opportunity, like an Ace of Pentacles, to get to your stability here without this person, then you, you should take it. You should take it, right? Okay. Now let's get over to this king with those lovers. Let's look at the lovers in reverse, see what that's about. And then we'll pull some oracle cards after I get some more water. Excuse me, squirts. Mm. Okay. What deck do I want to use? Um. Mm. Oh, I'd love to use the sexual magic, but that's okay. Well, no, I can't because it's YouTube. Okay. Wait a minute. What the heck? Oh, okay. I thought there was another card in here. I was like, let me use the Crystal Vision deck, and I saw this peeking out. So community just came out here. This can involve a family decision. I'm just saying, like, that's so weird that was in here. Um, this decision this king has to make, and like I said, Scorpio, could be between you and you. Could be about a social network or a family decision here, okay? All right. 
And that could be cutting people out if they have to or a decision that affects their network or affects their family. So let's look at the lovers. Talk about lovers in reverse. Talk about lovers in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love for the end of November. Yeah, Scorpios, if you're wait, if, especially if you have a king that's like you're waiting on them. And again, I just said my spiel about waiting. I won't do. I won't say it again. Um, I really feel like you're gonna get an opportunity or two that come across your way, and it's gonna be that decision time of do I sacrifice the the possible opportunity that is like yet to come through from this King of Pentacles for something that is like here right in front of my face or not. And I think you already know the answer to that. Talking about lovers in reverse. Talking about lovers in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love for the end of November. I'm also getting something about inaction here, Scorpio, for those where it's between you and yourself. Um, what's this in action? It's almost like not putting action towards the things that would actually enable you to grow and expand. Like almost um, like not being committed to what would make you grow and expand and being more committed to the more luxurious things in life, like going out and having fun with, with friends and drinking or what have you. Like having, like having more commitment to fun than the things that would help you grow and expand. That's going to be for some of you. I know some of you guys did not like that. I just felt that some of you guys did not like that I just said that. But if you sit down with yourself and have an honest conversation with yourself, you might find that that's kind of true, okay? So just dig deep here, Scorpio. It's different for everybody. Talk about lovers in reverse. Oh, for some of you, this King of Pentacles is realizing that. Oh, I got all basally. Hold on. Sorry, guys. For some of you, this King of Pentacles is realizing that about themselves. Talk about lovers in reverse. Talk about lovers in reverse for Scorpio regarding love for the end of November. Scorpio, you have a lot of abundance waiting for you. I really feel like this can't be tainted like that Ten of Cups I was feeling before. Like, it can't be taken from you. It's yours. It's meant to be yours. It's meant to be yours. Yeah, they're confirming that for me. And what's meant to be yours can never be taken from you, no matter what people think and no matter what people try, you know, <laughs> it might be delayed, but it'll always be yours. OK, you just got to go for it. It makes it hard. Some of the that was, uh, <laughs> some you're going to have to make some hard decisions to get there. OK, Let's see what we have here. Oh, whoa. Damn it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I have to sneeze and it's like it's creeping. OK, doesn't want to come out. We have Ace of Wands in reverse with the Two of Wands in reverse Aries energy. This is the epitome of indecision, okay? Look at this shit. I want that wand. I don't want that wand. I want that wand. No, I don't want that wand. I don't know. I don't know. Do I even want this anymore? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. This is the epitome of indecision. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this, this king is, yeah, like I said, it's a decision on the part of this king. And like I said, for those between you and you, it's your own decision here. Talking about lovers in reverse for Scorpio. Talking about lovers in reverse for Scorpio regarding love for the for, mm, for the last half of November. I keep hearing end of November. Talking about lovers in reverse for Scorpio regarding love for the last half of November. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is not pretty. Okay. Four swords, Libra energy. This is taking a time out to get clarity. Um, this part, if you're dealing with this person, Scorpio, like between you and another person, they might have ghosted you or they might have gone MIA. And it's to, basically to figure out what they want. It's basically to figure out what to do because they're so indecisive right now. And if it's between you and you, you need to take some alone time. You need to be a hermit to go and figure out what's best for you here. Like I said, meditate on it. Go within a little bit, Scorpio, and you'll get your answers. You'll get your answers. Now we have eight of wands in a verse. I keep getting that travel energy. Some of you guys have been putting off a move interesting some of you guys have been putting off a move here either because you really like where you are or you're just used to where you are or you're just like I don't know if that's really the best thing for me I feel like it, I should but I don't know that's gonna cost this or I'm gonna have to like let go of all my friends or a lot of these like what ifs keep coming into your head Scorpio if you need to take the time take the time okay 
<clears throat> for some of you who are dealing with a, who are dealing with a king I feel like they've went on vacation or like they left if they didn't ghost you there's a sense of like they traveled to get clarity here anyway eight of wands I just heard test run I don't know what that's about test run that's in relation to a king of pentacles if you're dealing with another person for sure not for my Scorpios dealing with themselves definitely those dealing with the king of pentacles something about a test run and travel I don't know anyway <laughs> eight of wands in reverse sag energy and the page of cups in reverse with the unknown card oh lord <laughs> more confusion this is just the epitome of confusion with the page of cups in reverse this is someone not really talking about how confused they feel and how indecisive they feel eight of wands in reverse is is delayed progress delayed travel as well it's also miscommunication my designated mercury retrograde card the unknown card is the is just that I don't know, question mark. I just don't know. So I need to figure it out. Overall energy, we have justice in reverse, Libra energy. Wow. Scorpios, this between you and you, deep down, you kind of know you're getting in your own way a little bit. You kind of know it. You just don't really know how. And so this is about you guys figuring that out. It was just between you and you, okay? Because underneath that, we have the nine of cups in reverse, Piscean energy, disappointment disappointment and not really getting your wish fulfillment which is the ten of pentacles for some of you it's the ten of pentacles ten of cups okay now it's between you and this person this is their disappointment they know they're not doing right by them and scorpios if you're this empress they know you're, they're not doing right by you okay they know that they just don't know the best path they just don't know the best decision because they are the epitome of confused okay literally they should just have their face like right here on the card and look at how disappointing. Oh, they're actually, she looks not that disappointed. I'm a little blind. I thought her eyes were all closed and those were like tears in her eyes. <laughs> those were tears in her eyes, but I guess not. Either way, if you're done with the King of Pentacles, they're confused. They're confused. They don't know which path to take, Scorpio. And either way, you want your Ten of Pentacles. You want your stability. And for some of you, there's a, I keep feeling a move. I really do keep feeling that. Um, there's a move involved in this that you're either putting off or that you're not really seeing right now and that may come to light a little bit later maybe towards the end of november um <clears throat> excuse me and for those who are just dealing with yourself either way you want your ten of pentacles you can have it you just have to figure out what's getting in your way or what's taking up too much space in your life for somebody that's going to be your own family for somebody that's going to be people in your social circle somebody that's going to be lifestyle choices getting in your way like that king of wands in reverse energy that's attached to this hangman in reverse and you're overall King of Wands is someone who is very self-gratifying. They're not very committed. They're not very loyal. They're very kind of fly by night. And Scorpio, I do feel for those of you dealing with just you and yourself, you haven't been committed to the things that will get you to the Ten of Pentacles. You've been more committed to the things that make you feel kind of happy and add more fun into your life. And there's nothing wrong with chasing happiness, but this is where your true happiness lies because it's going to bring you more stability, okay? Oh, Scorpios, you just can't be afraid to go there and make some hard decisions. And for some of you, that's going to require cutting this King of Pentacles out because they're taking too much time giving you a, a decision or, or basically making a decision that connects to you or relates to you. And for those where it's just between you and you, you got to make the space. That's all. That's all. You just got to make the space. And it's going to be different for all of you on how you do that. You have to go within and find your own answers on that. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get some advice. I really like the haunted house cards. They're kind of cool. All right, spirit animal deck it is. I might change up the oracle deck soon, but I just love these cards so much. <laughs> but we'll see. Any advice for my Scorpios? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? 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 For those of you where this is a romantic connection with the King of Pentacles, I do see you like putting it more and more behind you. Yeah, I do see you putting it more and more behind you and getting clarity on the fact that they're not going to make a decision. I really feel like, yeah, I feel like this is exactly what's going on with this King of Pentacles for those dealing with the King of Pentacles. It's almost like they can't make a decision and they do, they are trying to figure out what decision to make, but they're going to do a lot of inaction. Like they're like, it's going to get down to 
Well, I really don't know what's best. And so instead of making a wrong decision, I just won't make one. I just won't make one, which is making a decision, right? Anyway, any advice for Scorpios regarding this spread? Ugh, take my allergy medicine after this. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Oh, wow. Wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom, Scorpio. <laughs> 67 breaking down to a four. Stability. <laughs> the vibration of stability. This is having lessons learned. You've gone, like I said, you've gone through a lot already, Scorpio. And because of that, you have learned a lot. Put that into practice. Time to practice it. Time to practice what you know. Okay? By the way, I might make a second video, so I have to stitch it. When that happens, I just, I just lose a second. That's all. Any advice for my Scorpios? Uh, regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios uh, regarding this spread? Oh, Scorpios, I love it. Stag spirit, take the lead. Oh, isn't that just perfect? 58, that actually breaks down to another four. <laughs> Stability. Stability. Take the lead. Be the alpha. Be proactive. Be proactive. Be alpha. If this person can't make a decision, you take back control of, your, of the situation and control of your life and you make the decision, okay? to do whatever you got to do to make space to get to that 10 of pentacles and again for those where it's just about you and you you already know what to do you just got to dig deep you already have the answers you already do you already know scorpio you just have to dig within yourself to figure out what actions you need to take what shit you need to cut out or people you need to cut out to get to your 10 of pentacles any other advice for my scorpios regarding this spread oh that's it on the bottom oh oh my Scorpio card, Spider Spirit, make your dreams real. 56 breaking down to an 11. Scorpio, it's in your power to get this shit done. Okay, it's in your power to get to where it is you want to go. It's just time to reassess, realign, definitely realign, because it's a manifestation card, okay? And I can see everybody on the board is out of alignment. Whether you're dealing with just yourself or another person, everyone's out of alignment here, okay? Who's resonating with this? And you just got to be honest with yourself about it. Uh, <laughs> you just have to be honest with yourself about it take the time to get aligned take the time to have a conversation with yourself and dig deep into what you need and what you need to do and what you need to cut out and what you need to not wait on anymore okay to get there and to make it happen now what i find interesting is underneath that we have otter spirit you are never alone 42 breaking down to a six. Oh lordy almost done guys almost done Otter Spirit is usually like my Two of Cups lover, Six of Cups card. And for those dealing with this King of Pentacles, I do think that there is quite a strong connection there. And I'm sure deep down, they will always care about you, Scorpio, even if you got to cut them out because they're not getting aligned and getting their own clarity on what they really want or what they really need to do. But Scorpio, you're in manifestation mode or you need to get there. You need to get there. And in getting to your Ten of Pentacles, with or without this person, or just on your own solo, you have a lot of people who love you and support you, and that you can always ask for help. Ooh, I felt that. Scorpios, you're not big on asking for help. You're not, and that's okay. Some of you might need to accept help. Oh, the gems. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. They're reminding me. Some of you guys, like I said, are going to be meeting new people. Some of you, definitely through family. And there's a couple gems in there. Okay, they're going to help you get to your 10 of Pentacles. Don't miss out on that because you're holding out for this person or you're holding back a lot just because. Okay, don't miss out on these gems that are going to come your way. I think it's, it'll be easily missed. Oh, Lordy. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I know it's not sexy. Um, I think they will be easily missed. Okay, and for some of you, are they soulmates? Absolutely. Part of your soul tribe doesn't mean they're romantic. It could just mean that they're going to be a friend or a helping hand. But I do think that you will require assistance of some kind to get to this Ten of Pentacles. 
And I think it might be in the new gems that come across your way, unless this King of Pentacles gets their act together for those dealing with the King of Pentacles. But by the looks of the cards, it doesn't look like they will. Okay, so just know that. All right, Scorpios, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Vimeo. I meant to set up the partner stuff over the weekend. I really needed a lot of sleep. I got hit with some major energy shit over the weekend, and I really had to deal with it. So I'm going to try to get that, that, that. I'm going to try to get that up as soon as possible. Okay. All right, Scorpios. I love you. I hope you guys have a good night. Take care. Namaste.